Hello and welcome to Late Night Kitchen Photography, where I'm going to share with you some product photography tips so that you can take better looking shots of everyday items. All right, tonight we've got coffee cup. All right, how are you going to photograph this? Well, get yourself a camera. Any old camera will do. You do not need the latest and greatest for goodness sake. Forget the marketing. The camera you have is a good camera, so don't worry about it. Okay, now most important thing I'm gonna go over here is the light, okay? Lighting is what makes product photos look good, okay? You can photograph this thing, but right now it's gonna look terrible. So you will need a light, all right? Get yourself any little cheap light you can. This is a $60 little LED light, okay? You turn it on, get the, the brighter, the better, okay? And we're just gonna make this coffee cup look as good as it can using these tools, okay? Now, take your camera, if you've got a little zoom lens that it comes with, you wanna zoom all the way in, okay? You wanna adjust your camera's brightness by changing it into manual and making the brightness the brightness that you need. So, and you base that off how bright your light is, okay? So you would put the light at any old angle and you would have a look at how this looks right now. Okay, all right. And you can see what that looks like, and or I mean, that's pretty decent. I mean, compared to no light at all, you can see why it's good to have a light, all right? And that's not the only thing. You wanna control the direction of where this light is coming from. So playing around with different directions of where this light can be, you will probably find that an angle slightly behind it, about 45 degrees, tends to look best, okay? Now, if that light looks a bit too harsh, like it's creating some dark shadows, then get yourself anything that's white. This is a white cutting board, all right? I'm gonna stand this up here. I'm gonna get myself a blender to hold the, the cutting board up. As you can see, this is very expensive and no one can afford it, okay? Now make sure it stands up there. That's what 90% of professionalism is about. And now shoot the thing at the board, not at the object. And now you will see that the light being reflected off the cutting board and onto your cup is a lot softer. That's a little tip right there. Okay, so we're slowly getting somewhere. But we wanna go further. How can we enhance how this coffee cup looks? Well, you can do that by playing with props and background. Right now, this is just on the, the plain kitchen bench. If you're going for like an Amazon shot, you'll want a plain white background. For this one, I'm gonna be a little bit, uh, um, you know, Fancy, I'm gonna give it a wooden background. And by that, just get any old piece of wood, all right? Play with different things. This is like a $5 cutting board, but it doesn't matter because it's how it looks. It's not about how much you spend on it. And I'm gonna place this on here. Now, uh, get this light back on. Okay, now I will see that on this uh, wooden sort of background, it looks a bit more fashiony, a bit more lifestyle magazine. All right, let's get this back up here. Now, in addition to just shining the light directly at the, the whiteboard here, I can put the light on one side and use this as what's called a reflector to bounce back some light to make the shadows not so harsh. Okay, shoot that like that. Okay, and wow, it's coming along. Now, a little finishing touch. If you wanna communicate the idea that this is indeed a coffee cup, how else could you possibly make people think when they see it that it's a coffee cup? Well, it might seem stupidly simple, but it's the right answer when you say, let's add some coffee. Now, I don't have some coffee right here, but the next best thing, get some coffee beans. It's better than nothing, right? So get some coffee beans. I'm gonna fill up this cup with some coffee beans. There's a whole, uh, there's a whole profession in photography called art department and they literally just play with the props and decorate what you're supposed to be photographing, okay? Now this is where the art can come into it because you basically have to style how this looks to look good, okay? But if you just sit in your, in your kitchen, honestly, and just play around with this sort of stuff, you can actually train yourself in a short amount of time to be very good at decorating your photographs. Okay, good, so I've added some nice coffee beans, given a little bit of Fu Shuang Shui, that's not, not a word, but whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna light this again. 
photograph this again and we've come a long way. And now I'm just gonna fiddle around with the lighting a bit more. I wanna try and get this, that the angle of the lighting makes all the difference. Whether it's behind, it's gonna create more dark shadows. Whether it's in front, it's gonna light everything up. But from the front, it may look a bit boring. Okay, so find the, the right angle to just get that moment where it's just like, ooh, coffee. Ooh, coffee, that's what you want the message to be when you see this thing, okay? So you play around, take a bunch of shots, Okay. And bing bada boom, it's just about playing around, okay? Get kitchen items, just get things, just put them down here, get yourself a light, get yourself a camera, okay? And then this is not even going into editing, but you can edit this photo later to enhance it even further. All right, that's it for this lesson. Get into your kitchen and start cooking. I'm Lucas, hope you enjoyed.